You actually came in here probably about a year, year and a half ago, and uh, things have been all up and up from there. I mean, Celebrity Apprentice? Yes. How did that happen? Um, actually, Donald Trump came to me. Um, I guess he realized I had some business skills and he wanted to test me. When and you, it was a test. Let me I tell betcha. You. Yeah, I it betcha. It was tough. It was really, really well, I mean, tough. in the middle of New York City, you know, selling hot dogs against the girl team or <laughs> Oh, whatever, that stuff that? was easy. That was the easy stuff, you know. I, I'm a Will and Dylan guy. I mean, <laughs> you're just selling hot dogs. Yeah. Not a problem. I mean, have Lennox <laughs> yeah. Lewis helping and right. Gene oh, Simmons. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was easy, actually. It was just a fact when it came down to the hard work of using ideas like yeah. we did for uh, weighing mattresses. And we had, went around uh, the idea of using Cleopatra and... Uh, was it Marcus Caesar? And it was really, really hard just thinking of everything to, you know, do the color schemes and the attitude that for a window things, people come in and they see what they like. And she loved what we did. But it was just uh, a lot of hard work that other stuff we did that were really shown, you know, the legwork of going, getting stuff printed and, you know, coming with the ideas and running with it. I mean, we were working from 6 in the morning until about 1 in the, uh, one really? the next morning. Wow. I mean, there's some long hours. And I was just like... God, is this stuff ever going to end? And it was seven days a week, nonstop. Really? So, I mean, we're working for our charities, of course, and that's what kind of kept my nose to it, and I just yeah. needed it nonstop. So it was, well, it was fun. The only episode I seen, uh, you guys were doing something with the uh, marketing, and they weren't taking your ideas. And you go, look, I run a multi-million dollar company every single day. Like, if you don't want to listen to me, this is your stupid ass. Yeah, and well, I think I mean, that was another opportunity. That actually, Gene Simmons took over, and yeah. it was actually uh, one of the commercials that was really, really good. I mean, but when you're working with a team, you want to make sure everybody are on the same page. Yeah. And yeah. you want to take everything thing over on himself and kind of show that he can do it which he they ended well, up I mean, doing he's it. proved that for years yeah, yeah, yeah. he can and do a lot of things of so, course and sure. i mean uh, and but i was just really sketchy because every time the ideas came about they were never his original ideas yeah there was one of us or you know one of the um, project managers but he was just running with our, de our ideas yeah oh he just like, he just regurgitates your own exactly ideas. Oh, we, we, we would say about. something and he would be like oh yeah that same thing but just this, this way and it's we like just we, we just said that it. yeah but it, it was yeah. funny though but it was a lot of fun i mean i raised my awareness for uh st jude's children's hospital um good Raised yeah. about seventy thousand wow. dollars, and actually, after the show was uh, done, shown on uh, NBC, um, another company came to me and wants to donate a hundred thousand dollars under my name for really? to St. Jude. So I was like, I, I done my job raising awareness. So <laughs> that, it was awesome. That's so awesome. Did Trump just like call you on your cell phone? You're like, hello. Oh hey, this is no, Donald no. Trump. I'm really uh, looking for. No, they talked to my management, of course. Went through the uh, proper channels. Yeah, I went through the proper channels, and uh, I was excited. I was like, man, if I could step in one footstep, that Donald Trump has stepped in. Uh, I'm doing my job as a businessman for sure. Oh, absolutely. And what what's the number one thing that you learned from Donald Trump from this um, whole thing? You know, I, I think really hard work and, uh, you know, keeping your eye on the ball and just making sure you follow through on everything you do. You know, I, I've always learned, I've always known the hard work deal, but I think uh, really just following through and, and stick it to my heart. I mean, that's what it comes down to in all business, I believe. Awesome. So you're, you like you like doing reality TV? Um, I, It's cool. It, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah. I just shot my pilot for uh, my my reality t television show, I'm an executive producer of uh, Any Town Beatdown. Any Town Beatdown. Yep. So we go to any much town. Any, any town through. <laughs> Clean the, up the crime. Yeah, through, no, no, through the United States. And you, know, you got best friends who are enemies one way or another. Either one guy stole another guy's girlfriend or uh, one guy got bullied by his friend in high school or something like yeah. that. Well, then they get a chance to kind of even up the score. We're going to teach them how to train for five days, and they'll end up fighting each other in, <laughs> in a cage. Um, MMA rules, and they'll solve their differences in the cage and uh, hopefully be friends after. So I'm kind of being a peacemaker of the United States. So guys who Good. hate each other who have best friends that they've always wanted to beat their but it started here with Javon chance. Walker, right? <laughs> <laughs> like he needs a little help. Yeah, we just shot a pilot actually, and it was a, a bully. There was a, guy, a kid who got bullied 15 years ago in uh, middle school, yeah. and uh, the guy ended up going to his jujitsu school and started training there. And then, uh, the kid who got bullied go, I know that guy from somewhere. <laughs> well, it was the kid who bullied him. Well, oh, they, they went wow. to go spar one day, and the kid held the choke a little longer than usual. And the, the uh, instructors came and go, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? And he's like, that guy bullied me when I was a kid. So we, 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 shoot, we shot the uh, this show on it, and it's actually going to be a really, really good show. So I'm, I'm excited to see what the United States has to bring to any town beatdown. When do you see that uh, coming to air? Um, actually, I think uh, we just shot the pilot last week. Uh, we got about a month and a half, so right at the end of uh, summertime. And, and where's oh, it going to be? On G4. On G4. G4? Okay. Yeah, G4. If you were in that situation, who would you like to take down to any town and beat down? Oh, sh without a doubt, there should be no question at all. Dana White. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. What, what's going on with that? Did you guys ever really fight? I mean, when, they no. talk, when you guys had those those it, talks of, like, it, whoever wins the fight you, is, gets the... It was supposed the, to happen, but they tried to take advantage of me, and uh, I, 
wasn't going to let that happen. You know, I'm a businessman. Yeah. Right. They try to own everything and not pay me anything out of it. And it was just one of those things that it just came down that I, I had to stick to what I believed in. And yeah. uh, I got a lot of flack, let me tell you, from not, not doing it, not, you know, People said, "Oh, you should have did it for free," but they don't understand. You know, you can't you can't do that as business. a businessman. Yeah. It's business when they're making right. millions and millions off you. And right, well, that's it, just common about, sense. That we've t- talked about this before that MMA and boxing they're kind of lopsided because Oscar De La Hoya gets in the ring and, and fights an opponent and makes twenty million dollars, forty forty five million dollars, yeah. forty five million, yeah. <laughs> whatever. I mean, well, he's got Golden Boy, so I'm yeah. sure he yeah, pays yeah, himself sure. pimps himself a little bit harder. But the whole thing is, is that you guys go in there. I mean. Boxing is not as, I mean, you get your ass whooped if, yeah, you, I mean, if you're you, going to lose. I wouldn't say you know it's I mean? any softer. It's, it's, well, than, uh, yeah, UFC but I would think, I mean, think MMA is harder. I, I think, I think you hurt well, yourself more. No, you don't no, think so? no, 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 not even. Like, On an average boxing? per year, there's four deaths per year in boxing. Wow. In MMA, in Ultimate Fighting Championship, there's never been one death to date. Really? Yeah, that's well, that's true. Another yeah, that's reason true. you got to understand is in boxing, they have a standing eight count. Guy yeah. gets cracked and he gets dropped. Well, he has eight seconds of chance to get back up. Yeah. Well, in that eight seconds, the brain, the brain could bleed. Now, uh, UFC, if you get cracked yeah. and you get dropped, if you can't intelligently defend yourself, the match is over. That's it. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, that's it. After deal. three or four punches, if you're not yeah. blocking or anything, yeah, it's, it's over. It's it. done. So, I mean, and that's going to actually have longevity for the fighters. Yeah. Because right. they're, they're not causing damage after getting damaged the first time. Yeah. Exactly. Now, in boxing, you understand, they're using two gloves and that's it.